Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio, and I'm back with some tips about Dynamics 365. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to make grids editable inside of Dynamics 365. So making grids editable allows you to go into um, the views and change the information in inline format. So I can go in and actually update the information as you're seeing here directly in this grid without going into the records, which is pretty awesome. I've already enabled it for the account entity, but we're gonna actually do the same thing for the opportunities. So in order to do this, you need to have administrative rights and go into settings and then customizations. Then click on customize the system. So once you're in here, you're gonna to wanna to select the proper entity that you wanna enable the editable grids for. So I'll expand entities and we'll go down to the opportunity entity. So you're just gonna select it at the entity level and click on it and wait for that entity information to load up. So once that's loaded on the screen, you're gonna to wanna to go to the controls tab and add a control. So you can see there are already two listed. Click add control and then choose editable grid. Then click add. So now that we've added the editable grid, you can see that I have three options. I can make it editable for the web, phone, or tablet, or all three. We'll choose the web. And you can see at the bottom here, I also have properties for this particular editable grid. I have the grid view and I can also add a lookup if I want. So we can add that to the grid as well. So available views, let's just choose my open opportunities and let's make the account column, the available column for the lookup. And we'll choose the default view as account lookup view. If I want, I can filter further and say only show records where um, certain things are true and use those filters. I'm gonna leave it as it is and click okay. Just remember that lookup is optional. So once I've made the changes, I'm gonna to want to save the changes on the entity. So it'll update. And then the next thing we're gonna to need to do is publish the changes. Once that's taken its time to finish, you can take a look at the entity. So let's go to sales and take a look at opportunities. The grids should be editable now. So we're in the open opportunities grid and if you can Notice it looks very different. I can go into each row and I can actually update the information in line so I can change the values for these options here really easily and efficiently. What you can also do is make the subgrids on the entity and the forms editable now as well. Thanks for joining me. Join me next time for more tips and tricks on Dynamics 365. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Quanta CRM for more cool things about Dynamics 365.